What's going on everyone? Today I'm going to show you how I machine the spindle bearing housing on my CNC mill.
there you go everyone that was the machining on the bearing housing for the spindle now that you've seen the machining side of things we'll have a bit of a closer look at the spindle itself all right everyone so here's the um the spindle so on the, on the back side here we've got a one horsepower servo motor so this motor's got quite a lot of torque and it, it sort of adjusts the torque when the load comes on on the machine so if you're pushing the cutting tool into the um, the work surface quite hard this um, servo motor will actually or the sorry the controller will bump the power up in the servo motor and keep the rpm the same and consistent on the actual spindle itself so if i turn it around um, you can see the front of it a bit better so obviously that's the bearing housing that we just machined taper is a um, pretty standard um, aliexpress bt30 er32 so that's the that's the collet collet in here 12 mil carbide end mill with the replaceable inserts um, this thing's it's actually pretty good so the whole entire spindle shaft for this machine has been turned on my my lathe I drilled a 12 mil hole actually a 13 mil hole through the middle so that i can bolt it put a, a nut on the back side there um, this is not really the complete unit i want to make all of this sort of one piece but I originally made this part and then had to extend it so that was just sort of a quick extension that I did on the, on it to make it work um, just so that it brings it out and gives me a little bit more machining room so the housing I've turned a housing for this bearing and housing for the back bearing and then that's been put into uh, basically a piece of pipe so the original idea I was going to use for this was I was going to use a tapered roller bearing but I pretty quickly found that that um, was quite hard to seal. So I went with the sealed bearing. Um, I'll just pan you over here. All of this <laughs> was um, when I first turned the machine on with this tapered roller bearing and the grease obviously on the bearing just spewed out everywhere and flicked it all across my wall. There you go everyone, that's what we've got for you today. So that was the spindle and the machining on the bottom part of the housing there for the 40 mil bearings. Um, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up and um, don't forget to subscribe. If you've got any questions or just general comments, leave them down in the comments and see you on the next one.